Behind the Skinny Atlas Library is a treasure filled with golden frames and priceless paintings. These pictures attract me because I love nature, yeah. and these pictures are just beautiful. The John D. Barrow Art Gallery has been in Skinny Atlas since 1900, educating and entertaining the community ever since. He obviously liked cows, so the little <laughs> kids like to count the cows. <laughs> the unique thing about this art gallery is actually quite simple. It's one of the few places in the world where all of the art in the collection is all done exclusively by one person. They come in here and it's, it's wow. This is a wow place to visit. John Barrow was born in New York City in 1824, but moved to Skinny Atlas with his family when he was a young teenager. For the last six years of his life, he worked in this very room. His own self-portrait hangs up top. Have a mirror. He was inspired by Skinny Atlas, best seen by his painting, The Village, showing off the 1800s skyline. For a family, I think they can come in here and they can go, wow, look, Skinny Atlas looked like that 150 years ago and it still does. In the 19th century, Barrow helped put landscape art on the map. Typically, paintings were only deemed worthy if it showed an important battle or someone's portrait. However, for much of his life, he largely painted trees and the sky. When you look at these pictures, it seems like you can get a sense of who he is through the, through the paintings. Yeah. So it seems like it, this was part of his essence, his soul here. Dozens of portraits of the most stunning woman of all, Mother Nature, all meticulously painted by the same person. In Skinny Atlas, this is Alex Rusilla.